I am an historian and scientist working for the Republic, although I'm certain my contemporaries would judge me more a historian than scientist. Like you, I was looking for some trace of the Jedi. I had heard mention that one of the Jedi Masters had gone there, but I found no trace of them. No. It is something of a mystery why they would exile themselves as they have. It is not the way of the Jedi to vanish in such a way, especially when the Republic is in need of them. I fear that there is something else at work, something that we cannot see. Then again, perhaps the Jedi are hiding simply because so many people hate them these days. It is difficult sometimes for the Jedi to see such things, since much of it is rooted in human nature, and the Jedi are often removed from events of daily life, insulated. But the reason the Jedi Civil War was named such was because few in the galaxy can recognize the difference between the Sith and the Jedi. To them, they are both Jedi, with different philosophies. Not always. Jedi often fall. They cause much harm on Onderon, for example, in the name of peace and protection. Uleg Keldroma and Exar Kun, the two Dark Lords during the Sith War many decades ago, were once Jedi Knights, as were Revan and Malak. It is perhaps more amazing that some still trust Jedi after many have fallen and endangered the galaxy. It is also proof that a single Force wielder can change the face of the galaxy. And that is a frightening thing indeed. Before you go, I had a question for you. You came to Dantooine in search of Jedi. Why? What answers do you seek? It has been my experience that Jedi rarely answer such questions, or instead indulge in half-truths. If the Sith are rising in the galaxy again, then it is strange the Jedi would not be there to meet them, and that we have not seen more evidence of the Sith. No, I believe you. I merely find such subtleties among the Sith to be strange. They have been known to practice deception. But in the histories, since the time of the Dark Lords Kuhn and Keldroma, and Revan and Malak, such subtleties have been rare. In any case, it seems to me like our goals are compatible. If you would have me, I can apply my knowledge and skills to helping you find the answers you seek.
Let us end this. This shall not stop us for long. Is someone out there? Anybody? Help! Legrix are everywhere! Help me! I'm trapped in here! Yes, yes, yes I am. I locked the door in here. I thought I was gonna be Legrex compost. Did you take care of them, stranger? Please, take care of them. I can't stand much more of this. If you do manage to clear a path, please come back.
braved the perils of the sublevel, yes. Many stories and artifacts in your possession. This is fortuitous for myself and associates. For now, not only do I get rich salvage, but an even richer bounty. Do not be making this difficult. Your death can be quite painless. Negotiations are not possible. A deal has been made with anxious people. And now, Jedi, we shall fight. My life. <laughs> Is that you? You must be fierce with a blaster then. Hey, give me a moment, I sort of jam the door a bit. Just don't leave. Thanks for saving me. I thought those leg wrecks had me for sure. It's all Tapale's fault. She said the entryway to the sublevel was safe enough. This area has hardly been explored. We barely got in here. And then everybody started going left and right, grabbing anything they could. It was every man for himself, and nobody was watching for leg wrecks. Then, before you know it, we were under attack by those beasts. So salvagers were running every which way. Then they left me to die. All the easy pickings have been picked. Now everything that's worth more than a glass of Juma juice is long gone. So, this level is about the only place that's left. And as you might have noticed, it's very dangerous down here. Almost nobody's managed to get anything from down here. Not that it matters. There was a group that managed to get in and got one of the biggest halls ever. Tapale said we could do that too. But they were a damn sight more organized than we were. And they've caused more problems dead than they ever did alive. They were the first to really get anything from this damn level. They were so confident they went right back in. A bunch of us salvagers waited by the entrance. Only two of the four came back, and one died right away from his wounds. The other man was gonna be rich, but then he picked a fight with Garavik. It wasn't much of a fight, and there was no one left. And that's the whole problem. Well, since every last one of them is dead... Their find is sitting in the militia's headquarters. That's one of the biggest claims ever, and they won't give it to nobody. So people keep saying that they were owed by the dead salvagers, or that they're related. But Zeron isn't an idiot. The only thing he's gonna believe is a will. And after some try to pass less than authentic ones off on him, now he'll only take a will and their personal effects. They were the first to really get anything from this damn level. Only two of the four came back. It wasn't much of a fight. Uh, certainly. Just don't take too long. I don't know how long before those beasts come back. No, I, I didn't get anything. Now I'd just like to leave. 
I guess you're right. I grabbed a couple of things in the room we were in. I didn't want to tell you because you might make a claim for it. I need the credits. No, I hadn't thought of that. We could arrange something like that. That would work. I, I, I managed to grab three things. One's some sort of crystal, and the other looks like parts. For a lightsaber, maybe, I don't know. If you give me 1,300 credits, you can have it all. Now, that'll be enough for me to get off this rock. No returns on this. You're stuck with what you buy. Well, it doesn't work that way. Maybe it's worth a lot more than 1,300 credits and you make off real good. Maybe it's a lot less than I make off real good. You can buy it from me here or at the salvager camp. I'll hold on to it for you. I owe you that much at least. Just don't take too long. Ha <laughs> ha. A pleasure doing business with you. And uh, now I can finally get passage back home. I hope that junk is worth it to you. I really do. I'm going to the salvager camp. It'll take some time to get things in order. Come visit if you like, but if you don't like what you bought, it isn't my problem. The honor is mine. Yes. Have you come? Very well. I feel much better now, thanks to you. I really hope the Jedi salvage you bought was worth it. But it's nice to see you again, regardless. All of us salvagers know about that. I'd ask Darala, though. She's talked with the militia the most about it. If you ask me, the thief isn't human. It's one of those smart Lagrex. You still lurking around here? Certainly.
more worlds we travel to, the more questions I have. It's not just the hardships of the people, but something more. You are right, but there is something more at work here. The attacks on Qatar, Telos itself, the decay on Dantooine. Something is wrong, but I cannot pinpoint what. It's like their connections have become sickened, damaged. Sometimes I feel like I almost understand and then it just slips away. General, need something? Yes, General? Let me see what you have. That's everything. Now all you need is a little quiet time with the workbench. How many more do we intend to gather to us? This ship is not the galaxy. There is only so much room. Then prepare for an army, I think, for it seems many more will come in time. They will follow you because you are a leader. Their kind always needs such, even when the figure deserves no such obedience. No, perhaps not. Or perhaps you are different, something more. I am not blind. I see what they see, hear their voices when they speak to you, and notice the change when they speak to others. I know many things, and I know what I am not. I am no leader. I speak with a voice that will never move others. I speak with a passion that goes unheard. They obey you because you are a leader, and perhaps something more. Have you noticed what has been happening? Have you felt it in them? The fool dances in your shadow for your favor. The disciple, he worships you quietly. The alien obeys you. Even within the machines, there are echoes. Watch them carefully. See their patterns and recognize the strength in it. Influence can be a weapon, one that you may need before your journey is done. Good, and then act upon it. It is a powerful tool to motivate others. That was Revan's way, I believe. It was a strength. Have you never asked yourself how Revan took the Republic and Jedi beneath her? How she made them hers? Ah, but to make officers turn on their own people. To bomb innocent worlds to make pacts. Strong influence, indeed. And where did these Sith teachings come from? And why did Revan embrace them so strongly? So many questions, yet the answers are few. Oh, did they? No, Revan met no Sith Empire. Yet she learned their teachings. 
Many have mistaken the soldiers beneath Revan, the machines that were constructed to be the Sith. They are wrong. The Sith is a belief, and what Revan formed was not an empire, but something else. Yet how she did it is curious. And I suspect the answer to that question is tied to another. How was Revan able to corrupt so many so quickly? Not a one. But we shall see where our journey takes us, I think, and see how many answers we come across, yes? Ask. He, if he can truly be called a man any longer, is one of the dark lords that pursues you. I do not think he knows what you are. Not yet. He spared the Miraluka, and that may have been the last shred of feeling that exists within him. Keep his slave close to you. I suspect there was a reason he spared her, and perhaps a reason that she survived when the rest of her people and the Jedi did not. One cannot have power of that magnitude that her master possesses and still think and perceive the universe as we do, as most of us do. I had hoped that you would not have to confront him, but her presence here has changed all that. You will have to meet him in battle. You must be prepared to sacrifice the Blinded One. Perhaps her death will buy you the time you need to deal with her master. Then you have a chance. Without her death, I do not know if he can be stopped. It is a technique that is almost as old as the Sith themselves. It is a means of severing connections between life, the Force, and feeding upon the death it causes. It cannot be taught. It can only be gained through instinct, through experiencing its effects firsthand. Yes, and he fed upon its destruction. It will sustain him for a time. Power, do you think so? You would be wrong. There is no strength in the hunger he possesses, and the will behind his power is a primal thing and it devours him as he devours others. His mere presence kills all around him, slowly feeding him. He is already dead. It is simply a question of how many he kills before he falls. Nothing is impossible with the Force. It is an energy that flows through all living things, and like energy, it may be harnessed, channeled, and consumed at times. It may even be a substance that can burn and ignite. Do not think of his power as one would a weapon, or one of your warships of the Republic. It is terrible, but it is still a subtle thing. The sect of assassins that chase you feed on the Force. What he does is simply the pinnacle of what they could achieve in time. And that is why they and their techniques must be wiped out. No one again must experience and learn what her master did. As much as one may use the Force to bolster the wills and strengths of others, the reverse is possible, though not often used. Instead of sending one's will through connections in the Force, instead such connections are drawn upon, fed upon, and drained completely. Then you understand how terrible such a power is, and why it must be ended it is an empty road to the dark side, and by traveling it, the price is death before one's time. He is a breach in the Force, capable of consuming the lives of those around him. Sometimes the touch is slow, as it is with his crew. It is not something he can direct or focus, much like hunger itself. He is more of a hole in the Force than a living thing. Force sensitives and worlds rich in the Force draw him. The Miraluka world was one such place. That is why where the Jedi gather, Jedi will die. He will feel it, unless they mask their presence. But Katar called out as a beacon to him, and he could not resist it. And he cares nothing for the Sith, or its teachings, or the Jedi. And when the Jedi are dead, he will feed on the galaxy, the Republic, and eventually consume the Sith as well. There is no future in the empty galaxy he sees, and that is why he must be stopped. 
the breach must be sealed before his power grows beyond what even we can hope to stop. Perhaps he is bound to her, as I am bound to you. If so, there may be a death served by hers. You must be prepared to sacrifice the blinded one. Perhaps her death will buy you the time you need to deal with her master. Ask. Does it matter? Of course it does. Such titles allow you to break the galaxy into light and dark. Categorize it. Perhaps I am neither, and I hold both as what they are, pieces of a whole. Know that I am your teacher, and that is enough. What do you wish to hear? That I once believed in the Code of the Jedi? That I felt the call of the Sith? That perhaps once I held the galaxy by its throat? That for every good work that I did, I brought equal harm upon the galaxy? That perhaps what the greatest of the Sith Lords knew of evil they learned from me? What would it matter now? There is only so much comfort in knowing such things, and it is not who I am now. There are dark places in the galaxy where few tread, ancient centers of learning, of knowledge, but I did not walk alone. To be united by hatred is a fragile alliance at best. But my will was not law. There were disagreements, ambition. Techniques within the Force against which there is no defense. I was cast down. Stripped of my power, exiled. I suffered indignities and fell into darkness. And use that knowledge to become greater than I. That is all I ask of you, and that is all I desire. In you, all my hopes rest for the future, for the Force. If it means so much to you, then this I swear to you upon my life, upon our lives, that when your training is complete, I will answer everything. There shall be no more shadows between us, only truth that exists between master and apprentice. Yes? Very well. Very well, sit with me. You have brushed the surface thoughts of another. It is a start. Calm yourself. This time, silence your own thoughts. Keep them still. Imagine the waters of the room of a thousand fountains, each stream suddenly falling silent and still. Imagine the ice of Telos, cold and smooth as it gathers upon the plateau. Now, stretch out. Feel the ship around you. Strip away the metal, and see the souls and minds of those that fill its corridors with more thoughts and dreams and worries than can fill the space of this ship. As my feet walk from the ashes of Qatar, I shall not fear, for in fear lies death, and... How could the Jedi leave the Republic? Was it because of the Civil War? Is it possible that they... 
Switch the face of the plus one, minus one card. The totals are nine, ten. Switch the face of the plus two, minus two card. The total is eight, eleven. Switch. Your command echoes still, General, and I obey, as I did at Malachor. As my feet walk from the ashes of Qatar, switch the face of the plus one, I minus one card. Fear. The totals are nine, ten. Switch the face of the plus two, Please minus step. two card. Still, General, the total is eight, and I obey, switch. as I did at Malachor. Not now. Focus on my voice. Malachor. Now do you hear me? Truly hear me. You have taken the first steps on a much longer road, Exile. The droid cannot be read in such a way. As for the alien who served with you in the war, its thoughts are more difficult, requiring many translations in meaning. Often it is better to read their impulses and images than their spoken thoughts. That is why he is deaf to you. I have found his impulses are cold, like a dead weight. His thoughts are black. Indeed. It is strange that I did not. Perhaps. I would not put much weight on such things. Of course there was. It is because Atten was not playing Pazak, yet he counts cards in his head. At times, he will list off engine sequences, memorize the hyperspace routes on the other side of the galaxy, count the ticking in the power couplings, even though they are fixed. At other times, he will imagine certain base lusts, certain indignities. It may be Atten is far cleverer than he feigns to be, or perhaps he is simply a fool. Yes. Very well. Ah, oh, I had wondered if... But your powers are strong indeed. Now is not the time to speak of this. Wait until you have more of the galaxy within you, and we shall speak again. Every step on our journey shall bring with it discoveries. With persistence, you shall grow in the Force. And for every planet we reach, all that we touch with our presence, you shall grow, for you will have no choice. Yes. Very well. Ask. Have you never asked yourself how Revan took the Republic and Jedi beneath her? How she made them her? Ah, and... Yes. That is something we will leave and... Very well. Ah. Uh, I know of them, yes, and how much like beasts they had become. Combined, united against the Jedi, they command legions of Sith. But above these legions, there are three who must be stopped. As long as any one of them lives, then we, and all life, are doomed. One bathes in pain, feeds on it for sustenance. The other has ceased being a living being so consumed by hunger that he has forgotten his own flesh. And the last is a creature of betrayals, for without such things there is no hope. Yes, of pain, he has learned much. Of knowledge, of teaching, he knows nothing. Like the others, he was spawned by the horrors of the Mandalorian Wars. He exists solely to spread his pain to all Jedi everywhere. He, if he can truly be called a man any longer, is one of the Dark Lords that pursues you. I do not think he knows what you are. Not yet. He spared the Miraluka. Keep his slave close to you. Ah.
Yes. I misspoke before. Uh. Something up? Passes the time. It's better than listing off engine sequencers, memorizing hyperspace routes, or counting ticks in the power couplings. Why do I play Pazak? Good match. Now, what are you thinking about right now? Right. And that's why I play Pazak in my head. Because if you don't, you've left the door open, and anyone could walk right in. Of course you did. You see, Jedi, light or dark, do it, more often than you'd think. But I never heard one say they were sorry before. That's a new house rule. Nah, I play Pazak in my head. But while I'm doing that, it's a lot harder for someone to walk in. No, I can only teach you to play Pazak. Do you understand what I'm saying? Good. Now you understand. All right, I'll deal then. If you're ever fighting someone who has the power over your mind, whether light or dark, play Pazak. Start listing hyperspace routes, recite engine sequencers, and when they try to use their powers on you, suddenly it's not as easy as they thought. Because you'll be right here with me, playing Pazak, where they can't reach you. Something up? All right, what did you want to know? All right, but I'm out of credit. My life for your... I will answer what I can. General needs... Sorry, yes, I can't get my... I moved around for a couple years, working as a starship mechanic. Then you understand my restlessness. Though the war had ended, I couldn't find peace in anything. As long as I kept moving, I didn't have to think about what happened. Know what I mean? I'm sure you do. I decided I'd do something constructive. 
I wanted to make up for the things I'd done in the war. I wanted to design planetary shields, but there weren't many systems with the credits to spare. There was more that needed to be rebuilt than protected. I found out that Telos was going to be the flagship project for the Republic, and it sounded like something good. I saw Telos before the Sith raised it. It deserved a better fate. But Zerka ruined everything. I thought I could force Zerka out on my own, but I guess I can't fix everything myself. It's good to be working with you again, General. Something else I can help you with? That old thing? I built him when I was a kid. Been following me around for years now, despite what I've done to try and chase him off. Hey, just kidding. I'm happy to have you around. He helps me out with repairs. I outfitted him with a cutting laser and some other tools for delicate modifications. He's also good for singeing the pants of annoying techs. I've been thinking about doing some other work on him, but I barely have time. Too busy fixing up the ship. Something else I... Sure do, General. I've made a few while I wasn't working on the ship. Just remember, the best shield is not getting shot at all. Something else I... Sure do, just some... Sure... Sorry. Just working on the ship. I'm not sure who got her up and running, but I'm amazed she's even space-worthy. Whoever made these repairs doesn't think like most mechanics. But don't worry, I'll get everything in shape. I didn't want to talk about the war, but can I ask you something? Why did you decide to fight? I felt the same way. I remembered when word of the Mandalorian attacks arrived on Iridonia. My people had colonies across the Outer Rim. Many of them were among the first systems to fall. I did not join because I wanted to protect, though. I hated them. I wanted to destroy them, to give them the mercy they gave the people they conquered. I remember the thrill I felt when we fought them in battle. Victories were rare, but we celebrated every Mandalorian's death. Do you know how it felt? It's always on my mind now. That loss of control blinded me, turned me into a weapon. I just needed to get that off my chest. Was there something you wanted me for? If the Republic would just rein Zerka in, there'd be no problem. But as long as Zerka is allowed to undermine the Athorian's efforts, Telos will remain dead. I can't take seeing my work being used by those bloodsuckers. But there's nothing I can do about it, so let's talk about something else. Something else I can help you with? Yes? Is something wrong? At times, I meditate, simply close my eyes, and listen. It is quite calm. I try to treasure these moments before the next crisis begins. Of course, it would be my pleasure. I try to treasure these moments before the next crisis. Of course. Forgive me, but there is something I must ask. In my study of the Jedi histories and the more contemporary records, I have heard tales of a Jedi who was exiled. You are that Jedi, but the records are somewhat evasive on why this was done. I wanted to discuss why you chose to leave the Jedi Order and accept exile. I see. And because you went to war, they cast you out? Do you have a record of this trial? Perhaps I shall examine it when I get the chance, with your permission. I appreciate your trust. Thank you. I have studied the hollow record of your trial. I am unsure what to make of it. I must confess that I was searching for some meaning beyond the records. A reason for why one would leave the Order. Did you know that exile is a rare sentence? 
It is not really something that the Order can enforce. Believe it or not, it was really your choice. I don't think so. Perhaps some of them felt strongly about your sentence, but I think something else concerned them again. The choice to turn away was yours, not theirs. You are correct. I am afraid I have not been entirely open with you concerning my past. If I look familiar, it is because we have met before, at the Enclave on Dantooine, many years ago. As on Coruscant, Force-sensitive children are taken to Dantooine as well. Though it is done rarely, and only with those they believe are destined to become Jedi Knights, it is the secret nature of the place. If you are not chosen by a master when you have come of age, however, then the path of the Jedi is denied to you. I met you on Dantooine, long ago, briefly. You taught us the ways of combat, how to hear music within the movements of a lightsaber blade. It is difficult to explain the difference between you and Master Vruk, but I think it is because he was knowledgeable, but not a leader, not a mentor. You were different, we could all feel it, and I knew that if I were to have a master, I would want it to be you. And then you went to war. Many Jedi went to war, and the Jedi Masters proclaimed that you were Jedi no longer. Atrus, the mistress of the Archives, was first among them. I knew at that moment that if you would no longer be a Jedi, then you must be correct. I realized I did not want to be a Jedi. Instead, I wished to follow your path. And in any event, there was no one to train me, even if I wished it. They all went to war as I grew past the age of acceptance. It is possible to forget the Force, you know. If you have not felt it strongly enough, then there is little to miss. But I never felt the Force as strongly as I did when I was with you. And so I decided to serve the Republic, study the Jedi teachings, gather them perhaps. It was important to me to understand the Jedi now that they were gone. I felt some part of you should be preserved, so that your lessons would not be lost. Perhaps. I still harbor doubts about the path I walked. It is not time, if there ever is a time. I am on a diplomatic mission. I am one of several tasked with attempting to contact any remaining Jedi and convince them to return to the Republic. I know something of the Jedi. I have studied them for a good portion of my life, and now that they are gone, such studies are even more important. I do not think it is a matter of luck or chance, only my own inability to find them. While the Enclave trained me for many things, I am afraid that the life of a bounty hunter was not among them. I suspect my turning away from the Force is also a hindrance in such cases. I imagine the Jedi would be easier to find if I still maintained my connections to the Force. No. It is something of a mystery why they would exile themselves as they have. It is not the way of the Jedi to vanish in such a way, especially when the Republic is in need of them. I fear that there is something else at work, something that we cannot see. Then again, perhaps the Jedi are hiding simply because so many people hate them these days. It is difficult sometimes for the Jedi to see such things, since much of it is rooted in human nature, and the Jedi are often removed from events of daily life, insulated. But the reason the Jedi Civil War was named such was because few in the galaxy can... To them, they are both Jedi. Not always. Uleg Keldroma... It is perhaps more amazing that... It is also proof that a single force wielder can change the face of the galaxy. Yes, is something... That is hardly a... It is not time. Yes.
Greetings and good day. May I be of any further service to I am conducting my appointed round. May I be of any further Dantooine is a rural world. Since the destruction of the Jedi Enclave, salvage of the ruins has become a key area of growth for the Kunda's salvage industry is a main source of income for the local community. At their own risk, salvagers may remove relics from designated salvage areas within the ruins. The fee to remove a relic from Dantooine is proportionate to the appraised value of the item. For more details, speak to Administrator Terena Adare. The famed ruins of the Jedi Enclave can be found northwest of the Kunda outpost. Zeron strongly urges salvagers to avoid the highly dangerous sublevel. Kunda's salvage industry is a main source of... If you will excuse me. Greetings, and may I be of any further service to you? The local militia occasionally offers employment. Additionally, Many visitors come to Kunda to explore the ruin. If you will excuse me. <laughs> Greetings and good day. May I be over any further? If you will excuse me. Jedi, I've got to tell the others. Ah, leave me be, Jedi. Yes. You'll find little welcome here, Jedi. For your own good, I recommend you speak to Administrator Adari. It's you again. Well, you know who I am. I figure you've got a reason for coming back. You want something? Some of the salvagers went deep into the ruins and found a lot of Jedi relics. But all the salvagers that went down there are dead. The whole thing makes me sick. But that was a fair fight. I just hope someone takes this blasted claim off my hand. You want something? I'll tell you what I tell all those grubby salvages. No body, no claim. I'm no longer even looking at wills or credit notes. And if you think that's gruesome, then go space yourself. Let me see the will. I'll be glad to get rid of this claim and get those salvages out of my headquarters. Let me see. He left his claim to you. How do you even... You know, at this point, I don't even care. I'll have one of the militia get the claim for you. Here's your claim. I'll go let the salvages know that it's been taken care of. Hopefully this is the last I hear of it. It's you again. You want... You really should talk to Baroon. I don't have anything to say about that. There aren't more than a dozen of us, and there's too many problems. People keep hoping that the Republic sends help.
Hello there. You haven't had any new troubles, I hope. Let me guess. You were tricked out of some credits. Sorry, friend, but we don't do anything about that anymore. Glad you asked. So here are the militia rules, then. Kunda and the salvager camp are under militia protection. So a friendly scuffle is all right. But if any blasters are drawn, there will be hell to pay. But if you buy some Jedi trinket and you're not satisfied, you're on your own. I'd stay away from the mercenary camp. We've had difficulties with them. We don't patrol or investigate them. Follow the rules, and we don't have any problems. I'll tell you anything that's public knowledge. All right, stay out of trouble now. I hope that you haven't run into any difficulties you couldn't deal with. Is there anything else? I Soranak Chuta Sorry, this door is blocked off. I hear you. The honor is mine.
the honor is mine. Perhaps future Jedi who visit this cave will feel our presence, as if seeing our footprints preserved in the soil. The crystals here are infused with the Force. Some could be harvested and used for lightsabers. The crystals here do not drain Force energy from Jedi. They collect the excess energy that radiates from those attuned to the Force. I shall make this one see. Crystal responds to you. This is very rare indeed. The crystal's bond with you is such that the stronger you become in the Force, the more powerful your crystal will grow. This crystal will make an excellent focus for a lightsaber. Quite the contrary. Picture yourself as a sieve and the Force as water pouring into you. This crystal draws from the excess water that escapes the sieve. The crystal is in tune with you. It will use whatever water that pours through you, be it dark or light.
fallen. I shall make this one see. A weakness fallen. revealed. Halt, settler. This is a restricted area. How the hell did you get through the Kinrath? You should leave. We are highly trained veterans, and you're just a settler with a toy blaster. We're taking the Jedi to Nar Shada, and that is the end of that. I'm gonna say this nice and simple for your little calf hurting head. Unless you want to wind up dead, leave now. I warned you, but I'm glad you didn't listen. Attack, men! Rushing into action without thinking of the consequences. What? You're expecting thanks? Kunda is in danger, and you've ruined the best chance of averting a full scale conflict. Right now, Dantooine is at a critical moment. If Kunda falls, then the Republic may lose control of this system. Still, I'm surprised you were able to get this far. Although you do have your Jedi training to fall back on. Every action has consequences, no matter how small or insignificant they seem. And even the smallest choice has the potential for harm. The Mandalorian Wars was proof of this. Intentions mean nothing of a greater tragedy is caused. I need to get to Kunda and warn them. They could be attacked at any moment. If you wish to prove yourself, then do so. Kunda's in danger and they need our help. The mercenaries have allied themselves with the exchange and are planning to attack Kunda. They've been holding off for the right moment. And now, since they lost their captive Jedi, they'll attack immediately. I'm going to try to reach Administrator Adari. Time is of the essence.
You are the Jedi I've heard reports of, and I am Azkul, leader of the mercenaries on Dantooine. Straight to the point. I like that. I will be equally direct. I am planning to take Kunda, and you're going to help me. According to my reports, I have four times as many soldiers as the militia, and I am committed to taking Kunda. It is inevitable that I will succeed. If you wish to avoid my men eradicating the people of Dantooine, you will make it easier for me to take Kunda. Of course, I will pay well for your services. There are many ways someone with your abilities can aid us. Before the action begins, I have two main tasks in mind for you. Disable the gun turrets and the traps. Deal with the turrets, however you see fit. Just keep them from pestering my men. Decide quickly. I have a slaughtered a plan. When the militia learns of our attack, they will plant traps around the entrances to Kunda. Disable them. Decide quickly. I have a slaughtered a plan. You'd better reconsider. I can't have a Jedi interfering with my plans. There is a considerable bounty on your kind that I will collect on unless you're working for me. There are many ways someone with your ability... You'd better re... You could have guided the situation to a better outcome. Men, I trust you can handle this Jedi. This is <laughs> I don't suppose you found any of those atmospheric sensors. That's great news. My offer still stands. I'll pay you 3,000 credits for all of them. Thanks for your help on this. Here are the credits, as promised. I'll get this to Zeron when I get back to Kunda. Yes, have very well. Sorry, this door is blocked off.
Any luck on getting my modulator back from Joran? Excellent. How did you deal with Joran? It has to be someone near their camp, and no one else lives around them. You might be right, but I doubt it. Are they turning on their own? Typical. That's about all I know. I've never seen the thief clearly. Do you have any idea who it is? Really? So it isn't a salvager. Well, the war... The war affected different people different ways. Is she gonna be all right? I guess I had it all wrong. I thought those salvagers were to blame. I... It, look, if you see her again, tell her maybe we can work something out. I need help on my farm. She's already shown she knows something about farming equipment. I know a lot of people that need a second chance right about now. Here's your reward. Finally, I can get back to work. I see you have found the elusive Master Rook. He's told me that his rescue complicated our situation to some degree. I can't say that I anticipated that. I thank you for finding him, though. Rook has informed me that the mercenaries devised a plan of attack to annihilate Kunda itself. I must ask for your aid again, Jedi. Zeron says that even with a plan, the mercenaries have to gather their forces, then coordinate their assault. So we still have time. I'm afraid the militia has not been adequately trained for the task that befalls them. Our militia is effective at peacekeeping, but isn't prepared for a full-scale battle. If you can do anything to ready them for the reality of it, that would be helpful. Besides that, look around Kunda and see what you can do to strengthen our defenses. I know that we don't have the perimeter turrets online, and that alone could make a significant difference. Zeron says there is a considerable chance they will breach Kunda itself. Anything you can do to slow them down could turn the tide of battle. I have instructed the militia and other Kunda personnel that you are to be provided with anything that can be spared. Unfortunately, that isn't much. Right now, just us and the militia. I don't want to create a needless panic. But be assured I will make sure that all civilians are warned in time so they can get to safety. Though if we lose this battle, nowhere on Dantooine will be safe for settlers for long. Here is a MasterCard key that will open all of the security doors inside Kunda. Anything that might aid you in your task, please use. Soon, all the civilians will be evacuated. So if you have any business with them, I suggest you take care of it. Whenever you are ready to finalize the defenses, talk with Zeron. I was right about you. You are trouble. But you might just be the right sort of trouble we need. The mercenaries aren't quick to mobilize, so you have time to do what you need. Or are you ready to finalize the defense plans? So you did. Here's the credits I told you about. Even with the caves cleared, I imagine it'll take some time before the Kinrath aren't on the planes. That was very helpful of you. You've saved some lives today. The mercenaries aren't quick to mobilize. When you're ready, come back and we can... You heard what the Administrator said. Each of us has to do what they can to aid in the defense of Kunda. See where you can lend a hand. We'll have time to talk more when this is all over. Zeron was right about the mercenaries all along. In Soranaka.
We've been told to provide you with anything you need. We have to keep the news of the mercenaries' plan. What is it? The honor is mine. I hear you. How may I serve? Yes.
Yes. My life is yours. I feel better. I feel better. Thanks for the help. Thanks for the help. A lot of people here hate Jedi, but when they were here, they tried helping us. Welcome back to Kunda. You'll find little welcome here, Jedi. I will answer your questions. Sorry, this door is blocked off. Hey, get away from that door! The last time somebody messed with it, it was locked down for months before we could fix it. What did I tell you? Leave the door alone!
Charanana Gundoso Re... Charanana Gundoso Re Minera Ke Lorakto Kuro Kat... Terewana Jun Konata Delo Era Guno Antuna... Dai... Deru Intu Runto Waka Re Koe Wap Gerebu... Terewana Jun Konata Delo Era Guno Antuna... Deru Intu Runto Waka Re Koe Wap... Terewana Jun Konata Delo Era Guno Antuna... Deru Intu Runto Waka Re Koe Wap Gerebu... Charanana Gun... My life for yours. Don't cause any more trouble for Dantooine. I was right about you. The mercenaries aren't quick to mobilize. You sure? Once we're done with that, there may not be any time left before the mercenaries attack. All right. Then we got a lot to do. Since you are here to bolster Kunda's defense, I will hurry to the mercenary camp and delay their assault however I can. I imagine that the mercenaries have got two goals in this whole thing. Kill me and kill the administrator. The rest of the settlers won't have courage to resist if they succeed. 
The administrator's locked up in her office tight, which means that the mercs have to go through us and Kunza's defenses. It isn't gonna be easy. I suspect we're gonna have to fight on the inside. They've got three entrances they're gonna try and break in. Here's the front door, the security door on the side, and the garage door in back. We got three squads of militia. We can assign people to the front, back, or inside. Backside has to guard two entrances. The front will have to fight more people, and the inside will have to deal with any that break through. So, where do you think the first squad should be deployed? The battles that had the least dying were always led by Jedi. I'm gonna go with what you think. Where do you want the second squad? All right, where do you want the third squad, the new recruits? Fine by me. The last question is, where do you want to go? Either the front or the back. I'll take whichever one you don't. That way both sides have leadership. The back. Suppose that there is more ground to cover with the two entrances. All right, I'll take the front. Once the fighting starts, you gotta stay in your area. We both have to guard our half of the battlefield. Come over to me and the mercs will just charge straight into Kunda. Thanks to you, they're gonna have a tougher job. That's about it. Now we just need to dig in and wait for the mercs to come. Well, I'll tell them what's there to do. I'm not much for words. All right, I'll assemble the men. I hope you can speak good. I was expecting something more, but you did better than I ever have. You reminded me of my instructor in the Mandalorian Wars. Let's get ready for the mercenaries. If we fall here, all of Dantwin falls with us. Tell me what you see, soldier. They're mobilizing the militia. Looks like a lot of activity down there. They've been warned. It won't be of any use. The plan doesn't change. Captains, prepare your men. Their leader, Administrator Tarina, must not survive the battle. Everything else is secondary to that objective. Yes. 
Let us end this. You are no match for us. You are no match for us. We've lost too many soldiers. Fall back inside. So you're the Jedi? I take it you are responsible for the surprises we've had during this battle. Stand aside. Our quarrel is with a distinguished administrator. This isn't your problem. Is that supposed to convince me, Jedi? I was trained by the Sith. My unit killed many Jedi. I'll give you one last chance. Leave the Administrator to her fate. Then you've allied with these flaming settlers. The galaxy doesn't tolerate weakness. I was trained at Malak's Academy. Your tricks won't work on me. You're just another dead Jedi to me. Sorry I was held up, but it looks like I've arrived in time to pull you out of your predicament. Kill them all. What is... You are no match for us. A weakness is revealed. Thank you so much for your aid. You can be sure that Dondurin will not forget how the Jedi protected us from this threat. We are a humble community, and this conflict has greatly diminished our resources. I hope this reward will be sufficient. I am humbled by your generosity. I will put this to good use. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have much work to do. Don Duin will be slow to rebuild, but I am confident now that we will one day achieve prosperity. Kunda is safe in no small part due to you. 
I feel certain that the administrator wouldn't have made it without your assistance. I may have misjudged you. In any case, I am free to talk about whatever you wish. There are a few of us left, but I do not even know if the others still live. We have been forced to divide our forces and retreat to places which will be difficult for our enemies to detect and attack. We have chosen to hide our presences from each other, so that the discovery of one will endanger the others. We cannot. And we have resolved not to until we have found where the Sith are striking from. But even as our numbers thin, there is still no trace of them. We had hoped to outmaneuver them, by letting them believe themselves victorious. Then, all of us who remained vowed to meet here on Dantooine. From here, we can plan a course of action and carry the battle to them. But so far, they remain in hiding, and Jedi continue to vanish and die. You have more questions for me? We are at war, but it is unlike any war we have fought before. Somehow, our enemy is targeting us through the Force. The gathering of any Jedi seems to attract them like a beacon. How did you know of Qatar? Few knew it was one of the gathering worlds for the Jedi. But yes, Qatar was one such place. Now the planet is no more. Master Zar, Master Dorak, and many more perished there, and we do not know why or how. But all life on the planet ceased to exist. I was not on Qatar when it was destroyed, but now that it is dead, it has left its echo, like Dantooine. It was after Qatar that the few of us left realized that wherever we gathered, we were placing others in danger, not just Jedi. Great tragedies... Old battlegrounds. Places of suffering all leave wounds on the galaxy and in the Force. In such places, the deaths of so many echo. So much so that it is difficult to center oneself. By coming here, those echoes serve to mask my presence, allowing me to investigate the ruins and try to find some clues as to who our attackers are. The Mira Luka world of Qatar taught us a terrible lesson. Many Jedi gathered there in an attempt to use the Force to find the location of the enemy. Now the planet is no more. Master Zar, Master Dorak, and many more perished there, and we do not know why or how. But all life on the planet ceased to exist. I was not on Qatar when it was destroyed, but now that it is dead, it 